Hey, how's it going guys? Wanafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best keyless script executor called Vega X, and I just released version 2.2 today. So if you're looking to download it, I'll have an easy tutorial linked in the description. So yeah, and as you can see, this is the main menu right here, and you also have over 500 different scripts built into the exploit with the script hub, and just tons of options as you can see right here. So starting off, this is the page that you're going to be using the most. And here you have two different APIs you could choose from, so if one of them isn't working, you could just switch it. Um, you can add different tabs, put a ton of different scripts in here. There's a simple UI if you want to use this. There's a script manager, so you can save your scripts in here and then use them later. And here's a little tutorial for that if you're trying to do that. Um, you can load in your own scripts here, by the way. There's some themes. This is a new system I just added where you can basically choose any color on the whole color wheel. Click that and then click on the UI theme, and then boom, it's gonna change the background. You can also come over here and change the uh, panel color, so now I have like a blue UI, go back to the default theme, and yeah, so just overall really, really cool stuff there. And here you can also execute a file directly from your computer, so if you have like a .txt or a .lua file, you could just open it up from here and then execute it. So right here I have some stuff like this, I could just like click on one and then it'll load it in there. Um, you could also do stuff like open file, save file, you can just tons of stuff. But moving on over here to the options tab, this is again a lot of stuff on here. You have kill Roblox, which is if your game is glitching, you could kill it and close the game. You can unlock and boost your FPS if your game is running a little bit slowly. Here's an alternative execution method if you want to use that. Um, you could find new scripts on my website, there's a chat bypass. Oops, I forgot to switch the API. But yeah, so there's the chat bypass. You have your easy mini game. I don't know if you're just bored, you could do this. Bounce this little ball around. Um, you can obfuscate scripts. Anti-AFK, of course, is going to prevent you from getting kicked. You can test if the exploit has any like internal errors. You can adjust these you know, like normal scripts like walk speed, gravity, jump power, and you just click enter, enter to save it. And in some games, you might know that like when you try to reset your character, with the reset character button, it doesn't let you. So if you just click this button here, it's gonna force reset your character. Uh, this one right here can make Vega X topmost. So now it's gonna be above every other window. And then if I turn it off, then now when I go on here, it's gonna go back to the back. And then if I turn it on, it's gonna stay up, which is actually pretty useful. But I think I do have that on by default either way. So you don't really need to turn that on. Um, here's the credits, it's just credits to me. And if you need any support, just join this server and we have a couple ticket channels and help channels for you. Here's all of the uh, updates in the newest update. And if you've never used an executor before, this is basically how you use it. I mean, if you haven't watched the tutorial in the description, you just clear the text box, paste in your script, or just paste it like Control V, Control C. And then once you join up into a game using Roblox.com, not the Microsoft app, you just click attach, wait for it to say that it attached, and then execute. Yeah, really really simple stuff. I'm going to move on now to my desktop and show you guys the whole process. So as you can see, this is what the folder is going to look like when you first get it. Or actually it's going to look something like this when you have WinRAR. And then once you drag it over here, it's going to look like this. You have all these other files. If you want to add a custom theme, you could do that right here. With this uh, pastebin document, I have a little tutorial. Or you could read the readme file if you're having any errors. Usually you won't have any errors, so this is all you do. You just open up this. You can skip it if you want to and here it is so you have all this stuff and while we're on the topic of this folder right here this is the scripts folder where you can edit any of the saved scripts that are in this menu so it's actually really really easy let me show you right here i'm going to create a new uh notepad so here we go i'm going to type a i'm just going to say hello just to keep it simple and i'm going to save it as the name roblox oops roblox.txt just to have it saved there and then save and then and then here's my file so i have roblox.txt i'm just going to drag it right into this folder and now if i come over here back onto vega x there's nothing on here but once i click refresh if i scroll down well, let's try to there it is so roblox.txt and it's going to say hello so i think you can guess how to use this you normally just like put in your script there uh name it do whatever you want and these are all just like preloaded scripts that i put in here like two years ago so they're not all going to be working i mean i can tell you for sure the click teleport the anti-afk stuff like that works 
and also some stuff like the Prison Life GUI because that game hasn't been updated for a while. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's all of the stuff on this main tab. Oh wait, we also, we also have a transparent. It's definitely really useful if you have like a smaller screen and you want to be able to see stuff. So I can still kind of like read the text from behind it. Uh, pretty cool there. You have your... Yeah, I think that's all the stuff on the main menu. Again, before you use any executor, definitely watch my tutorial video, which is going to be in the description, because that's going to help you with almost every problem that you get, well, any like normal problem. And if you open up the readme.txt file right here, it's also going to show you this paste bin. And if you open this up, it's going to have like, well, let me just show you. So this is it right here, and it's going to have a ton of different fixes. So this is like the main issue. Well, actually, the main issue is probably, um, let's see, where is it? This one right here. So people who forget to attach is going to be, or if they just forget to like wait long enough, this is the error. You just have to click attach and also make sure that the folder is extracted to your desktop. Uh, but yeah, so here's all the, all the fixes. You have like nine in total. And actually, as I'm recording this video, Roblox did just update like today or yesterday. So Vega X is going to be down for a little bit for some people. I mean, for me, it's not, but for some people, for some reason, it hasn't updated yet. But yeah, so that's all the stuff that's on the help tab. And yeah, so I think that's all the stuff I should showcase. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of all the stuff that I updated in this update. So as you can probably tell, if you use this for a while, there's now rounded edges, which just kind of makes it look more sleek. And then you have some quality of life stuff. Like, for example, this button right here used to say execute file and people kind of got confused with execute script. So I have this in order, it's attach and then execute, and then you can clear the text box if you want, and then these are just some of the extra things. But yeah, so here's the UI theme, this is also a new thing that was added of course. And if I come over here to the options menu, as you can see the bypass anti-cheat is fixed. Um, I uploaded, I updated the change log of course. Some of the errors that were happening with the old We Are Devs API version has been fixed now. Uh, the two errors, the same thing. Themes button is replaced. I added a lot more stuff to the script hub. So every update, if you see a check mark next to it, that means that it was just added. So if you want to try these new scripts out, you can. And yeah, so I think that's all I'm going to showcase. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.